Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Hank Strange. I'm joined by John Crump of Ammo Land News, and this is another breaking news with Ammo Land. John, thanks for being here, sir. Yeah, no problem, Hank. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Um, first, I want to, uh, on behalf of myself and Lola, I want to thank everyone for all their condolences. My mom passed last week, and I really appreciate everyone's support. We got lots of outpouring of love and support from everyone, and we really appreciate that. It's been kind of like a rough schedule with us here getting things out, and that's probably going to continue for a little while longer. But we'll, you know, we're, we'll be back. Now, obviously here, we're here to talk about some Florida news because uh, there's lots of uh, shenanigans, John, going on in Florida. So this particular one, um, the Florida AG says there's no proof or evidence needed to prohibit a firearms purchase. So, yeah, it's really insane, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So just in case people don't know what we're talking about uh, here, do you want to fill them in, John, on exactly what the article is? I'll try to, this article, I saw it in the gun writer. I'll throw it up while, while we're talking about it here. Yeah, basically what is going on is that there was an active duty sailor stationed in Florida who attempted to buy a handgun last year. And his application or his background check came back as denied. It said that he was institutionalized in New York, but it wasn't, wasn't really him. Right, it, it was just someone with that same name, which we've seen that. It happens a lot, right? The names are common. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he tried to get it a return. It didn't work. And the AG responded to Florida Carry. Mm -hmm. And they complained, saying that, you know, we don't have to have proof or evidence that someone is not eligible to own a firearm to not deny them the right to buy a firearm. So they. So, in other words, this guy got held up when he went to buy it because something came back on the Knicks check, a hit from maybe New York or something like that. Someone it happens did the same. A yeah, it happens a lot. So he contested it, and, and, and but nothing happened. So somehow it falls in the lap of the AG. Um, the Florida AG, Ashley Moody, who's a Republican, for whatever that means, right? Anti-gun Republican. Yes. Um, she says that they... So they don't see anything either. They don't see anything that disqualifies this guy from having guns. But instead of acting on that or doing a background check and saying, no, this is these are two separate people. This guy should be able to to um, arm himself and releasing it. They say they don't have to have any evidence. They could just willy nilly pick anyone and go, yeah, we don't care. You can't have this. Yeah, it seems like a violation of the due process clause of the Constitution. Yeah. Me. I absolutely believe that. It definitely is um, a violation on him for his Second Amendment rights, right? If he Correct. has no access to that and he is not a felon, and then the pe like, why do we have government, John? Why do we have these people in the government? To hold us down. <laughs> okay. I mean, we, you know, I think we either, if, if they don't serve any purpose, we don't need to have them, right? I, I personally believe in less government. I'm sure you do, you know? Absolutely. I'm a libertarian, yeah. so of course. Yes, absolutely. I think we both go along those lines. So if you have an attorney general, this is a case where she needs to step in and say this person who is, is a law-abiding citizen should have their rights, their access to the Second Amendment, but effectively he's blocked, right? He, yes, he is blocked, and he's serving the country to defend yeah. free. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That sounds kind of... Uh, cliche but that's what he's doing it's true he's and, putting and his he, life on the line yeah and he's not yeah. getting the justice and the freedom that he's defending yes absolutely um so what can we do about this what can we what can we do about things like this i know that there was another story that you and i were talking about that actually involves ashley moody i think it's tragic um that we have uh republicans here in the state of florida that um obviously don't believe in the Constitution, definitely don't believe in the Second Amendment. What can we do when we um, get into situations like this? How can folks um, actually, you know, get some result from this? Okay, there's a couple of different things. First, by putting pressure on Ashley Moody, mm -hmm. blowing the story up, sharing it, write your own story about it, put it on another website. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't care. Um, I'm yeah. not in this for the for the clicks, you know. So yeah. if you want to take the story and write it yourself, go right ahead. I will even share it for you. Another thing that we can do is primary her out of her seat. Mm-hmm. So in the in the Republican okay. primary, mm-hmm. you know, have someone run against her and vote for that person. Right. Yes. Yeah. Um, the Democrat, we can't, if we vote for a Democrat... It, we know what we're, we're going to get out of that. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I see what you're saying. Like, we have to deal with this in the primary because what happens is when we get to general election, you know, we're either getting a Democrat or if we have a rhino, we're getting a Democrat one way or the other. So, so at the primary stage is where we need to get someone in on the Republican side that's actually a... Um, a believer in the Constitution and supports the Second Amendment and definitely will right wrongs like this, which is what I think the job of the Attorney General is, where maybe like Ashley Moody believes her role is to just get ready to run for higher office, which is, is this is a this is a problem. This is why we're trying to talk about these things. And I think John is saying, hey, we're happy to share this information and have other people come out and give their own opinion on it and share the stories and get the message out there because we want people to know why we're losing our access to the Second Amendment. Yeah, even if you're not going to write a story or whatever, give the AG a call mm-hmm. and say, hey, why is this going on? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Um, we, people, folks need to do this. I think if you if you think about this, the attorney general is a politician. She ran for this post. She got elected because Republicans voted for her in the state of Florida and other people. I mean, you know, uh, ultimately in a general election, regardless of uh, what party affiliation you have, you can vote. And, and you may have voted even if you're on the other side because you believe in the Second Amendment. That's why she's there. She's a politician. She has to answer to us. Um, all of these guys have social media. They have offices. They have ways that you can reach out respectfully and speak to them and say, what's going on here? Why do you not care about this sailor that's serving his country? Why do you not care about his Second Amendment rights when he's here? Why can he not defend himself and his family? Well, it's not only the Second Amendment rights, it's his uh, like Fourth Amendment rights as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, like I said, f- folks, we should reach out here. I think John and I, we've had other issues going on in Florida. We're not Florida centric, you know. We've talked about things that are happening really around the country, but um, you, you know, we, seems like Florida's a hot spot. Yeah, it seems like Florida is a hot spot right now, and I think the the biggest reason for that is we have people in office who are not uh, keeping up their pledge to uphold the Constitution. You know, we've got that on a national level, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, when you take an oath to defend the Constitution from enemies, foreign and domestic, you got to take that seriously. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and abso- not- yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, w- do you have any advice other than obviously we've given a little bit of advice? I know folks out there are going to be, you know, um, up in arms. I guess that, <laughs> you know, no pun intended. Folks are going to be up in arms about this. Do you have any advice for what we can actually do? to um, get some correction here or things that folks out there can do to, to help us further this? Because we've seen that there's lots of problems that are running through the attorney general. And, um, and I keep telling people, like, we've got some laws in Florida that came on under Rick Scott, and they haven't been put into effect yet. So what I mean by that is they're, they're laws, they're on the books. But the person who would start prosecuting people for that is the attorney general. A lot of people don't know this. So if we have an attorney general like this, they may choose to use those rules and start going after people and then putting people in jail for things that otherwise, you know, I mean, we we, because people people are not aware in Florida that there's a whole bunch of gun control laws. I talk to folks in Florida all the time. and They're like, what are you talking about? We don't have anything. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Red flag laws. Yeah. We've got red flag laws. We've got age limits. You cannot. So like we were talking about this gentleman serving in the in the military, you can serve in the military, but in Florida, you cannot purchase any firearm until you're 21 years old. You yeah, know, and at 18, at 18, you can be on your own. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, what I would say to people is now is the time to get involved. You have to get off the bench. If you're not getting off the bench, you are being a detriment to the gun community. 
There's plenty of great organizations around the country, local and national. I'm not saying you have to join GOA, but if you want to join GOA, mm -hmm. that would be great. NRA, right. even. Mm -hmm. Join yeah. them. Um, yeah. They might not be everyone's favorite right now, but they still have a lot of power. Mm -hmm. One thing I would say is look at local organizations, too. Like here in Virginia, I am a member of the VCDL, which is our local gun rights group in Virginia. It's mm -hmm. the biggest one in Virginia. In mm -hmm. Florida, you have Florida Carry, which is a phenomenal organization. They do a lot of work in Florida. Mm -hmm. You gotta remember everything starts local. Mm -hmm. uh, GOA can't really focus down on the state level too much. Mm -hmm. uh, I do for Virginia because I'm the Virginia State Director and mm -hmm. I work very closely with other groups like the VCDL in Virginia. Um, I would say pick at least one national organization, join it, whether it's GOA, NRA, Firearms Policy Coalition, doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. And pick one local organization to join. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and then and do. Show up. Yeah, show exactly. Up. Yeah, show Attend up. Rallies. Yeah. Attend meetings. Write letters to the politicians. Call them. Put pressure on them. Mm hmm. Absolutely. We have to do what we can. Like, I know everyone can't show up to everything. I definitely can't show up to everything. We've all got plans and things that we have to do. But I was talking to Antonia Okafor, who I believe you know, um, and she was here uh, uh, fighting for uh, campus carry here in Florida, and she was in Tallahassee, and she just didn't get a lot of support from our side. And I think that there's multiple reasons for that. One of them is that you know, not everyone was aware that she was even here doing that. And she's not from the state of Florida. Um, she was at that time from Texas. I, I believe now she's in Colorado. But she's going around the country fighting for campus carry, right? Gun-free zones are what uh, is what's one of the things that's allowing a lot of, of the uh, evil violence that we see um, coming from broken people out there. So we, we need to get out and, and support people who are doing things in whatever way we can. Sometimes, you know, you've got work like everyone else has and you can't go, but you can share stuff. You can make people aware of things. This is how we do it. One of the things folks aren't aware of here in uh, Florida, John, is um, that they made a law that you cannot change the rate of fire of a firearm. Yep, that so. is correct. And that also makes binary triggers illegal. Yes, it does, but also technically it means that you can't modify the rate of fire of your firearm. So if you're a two-gun or three-gun competitor, right, you probably would do that. Or, you know, it's just your average pistol, there's guys that change a trigger to get a, you know, they get a better trigger than what, the, what it came with out of the box. Technically, someone could use that. And in a case like this, where you have someone like the Attorney General, Ashley Moody, she can use this. We put these laws on the books and people don't even know about it. And if they want to, they can use all of these laws and go after people. Definitely here in Florida, if you're 21, they took away your rights. You know, before at 18, you had some rights, but now you definitely don't have them until you turn 21. So be aware of that. Um, before we get out of here, um, how can people support you, John? I know that there's folks sending you stories and things like that. What can the folks out there do to support you? Uh, stories is always helpful if they're mm -hmm. legit. Um, yeah. <laughs> don't send me yeah. Stories about your neighbor's dog who barks too loud, which I actually got a story like that. Okay. Interesting. Uh, kind of weird. I don't like, know what you're supposed to do about that. I, I, I don't know. I said, okay, thank you. I'll look into it and just right. – went on okay uh, you're a nice guy yeah mm -hmm. you know yeah uh, you can also find me at real jack crump at facebook that's the easiest way to drop me stories mm -hmm. uh i have a youtube channel now which i do a lot of live streams and second amendment stuff and that is at john crump too um also a patreon Mm -hmm. Patreon for the uh, patreon.com forward slash john crump what i'm doing with that if i can plug that really quick absolutely it, I am trying to raise money through the use of Patreon uh, mm -hmm. to raise between $700 and $750. And what I want to do is buy a single mom a handgun and also get her the training to be able to use it. Oh, cool. Okay. Do you have a single mom in mind or you're waiting until you raise the money? Once we raise the money, we're going to do something where uh, we're going to have like 
people pitch a single mom to us and then okay. I'll get together with the, my Patreons and we'll decide as a community who should receive it. Awesome. Very cool. And then what's your, what's your Patreon again for folks out there that want to go to that? It's uh, John Crump. John Crump. Okay, cool. And um, I know there's an – I'm sorry. Go ahead. Pinch one more thing. Absolutely. Yes. Crumpy.com oh, forward slash scout. C-R-U-M-P-Y <laughs> dot com uh, forward slash scout. You can buy popcorn for an adorable little boy yes. <laughs> who happens to be my son. And right. you can give back to the community and support the truth by buying them Boy Scout popcorn. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. I Somehow I knew that one was coming. Another thing that we should pitch here on November 2nd, there's an event that you know about. Um, I'm not going to be able to make the event, but what Lola and I would like to do, because uh, I've got previous plans that were put into effect like uh, about six months ago. So um, what we would like to do, though, is promote everyone that's going to be there, the event itself, help get people out there, which we will be doing on, on the channel, on the podcast channel. Um, tell the folks about that, John. It's called the Second Amendment Rally. You can find information about it at 2ndamendmentrally.com. You can sign up there to go there. Uh, it's not a single organization or a single person pinning it on. It's a group of people, mm -hmm. and they don't even want credit for it, which is kind of cool mm -hmm. because they want it to be a community event. And people are flying in from everywhere. KD's going to be there. Yeah, um, it's going to be in so, D.C., right, on November 2nd? It's going to be in D.C. It's going to be at the Capitol. Uh, you know Kevin Dixie, of course. Yes, of course I do. The Reverend Kevin Dixie. Yeah. He's, Him and yes. Carrie Stone okay. is going to be taking people, break, the first 15 people to register to fly in, breakfast mm -hmm. the morning of the rally, and somehow... Carrie's going to be making breakfast? Well, okay. I think Katie is, and she's oh, Katie. <laughs> something like that. And somehow yeah. Carrie roped me into coming. I was on our live stream. She was like, yeah, you're okay. going to be there to help and talk about GOA at the breakfast. I was like, I am. She was like, right. yeah, you are. I'm like, yeah. okay. There you go. <laughs> like, All right, good. <laughs> Absolutely. Kudos to them. Thanks for doing that. So if anyone out there is interested, please, um, you know, follow the website there and uh, – or ask us, and we'll give you we'll give you guys more info. If you're not able to make it, definitely help spread the word about that. That's something that you can do. Help spread the word. Support the folks who are going to be out there and the people who are talking about this, because we really do need to get um, a lot of people to um, to show up there. I think it's a very important thing, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I'll oh, there. Yes, you're going to be there. Okay, and we'll be talking about this on our different platforms going forward. So we're going to wrap this up here. I want to remind everyone to leave your comments here. Let us know what you think about all these different things. Um, and then also subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified every time we put this up and other stuff. Thanks so much to Ammo Land. I want to encourage everyone to go to Ammo Land News. You know, that should be your source for news. The guys at Ammo Land are doing good things, including partnering with me, which I appreciate. I think it's very good. It's working out pretty good yep. so far, right? I might not be the first to break a story, but I'm going to do my due diligence and research the hell out of it. Right. We appreciate what you guys are doing over there. Okay, so that's it. We'll see you guys. We're out of here. Peace.